Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1162. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about the if function. Now, back in uh, 1155, I actually went through all of these formulas for a checkbook. This is not a checkbook. This is an inventory tracker. So check this out. We wanted the formula to check over here to see if it was equal to double quote, double quote, which is a way for checking whether there's something in the cell or nothing. And then if it is empty, in essence, we want to show nothing. Otherwise, we want to run our formula. Well, there's all sorts of different ways we could do this. We could do is blank. And again, in this video, I explain how all of these work. This is a great one that appears in lots of Microsoft templates. If the cell is not double quote, double quote, then run the formula, otherwise show nothing. Or even this is number. But no way. We were doing this inventory tracker in class, and Aisha in the class introduced the Aisha method. Now, check it out. We're either going to have dates or empty cells. Because remember, we want our formula down here to run. So as soon as we put a date, it shows up. So check this out. Aisha said equals if. And for the logical test, yes, it's true. We normally put something that evaluates to true or false. But guess what? If we just click on the cell, since dates are serial numbers, and down here there's nothing, the logical test interprets any non-zero number as true and zero as false. Now, you need to know that empty cells, when we have a cell reference in the formula pointing at an empty cell, it always evaluates to 0. So if our data entry is consistent, we all always have dates, which are serial numbers, or empty cells, which evaluate to zeros in formulas. We have our true false. All right, so if it's true, then we need to take the balance from above plus units purchased minus units sold. Otherwise, double quote, double quote, which is a zero length text string, which shows nothing. Close parentheses, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Man, that Aisha method. And let's prove that to ourselves, because that cell reference, it's in a formula. When it looks at an empty cell, it evaluates to zero. Now, we could just double click and hit the F9 key to evaluate and see it in our formula. Be sure and hit Escape if you do that. Or we can go up to Formulas, Evaluate Formula. Or we can use the keyboard Alt-MV. And watch this. We can evaluate with our mouse. Or we can hit Enter. And sure enough, you can see there is the 0. All right. Uh, thanks to Aisha for that method. We'll see you next trick.